In today's video, we'll go through the process of creating a physical inventory document using transaction code MI01 in SAP. This document is the first step in conducting a physical inventory account. Let's get started. Enter MI01 and press Enter. We'll notice that the document date and the plant count date fields are automatically populated with today's date. The document date is the date of creation, and the plant count date is the day when the inventory count will take place. For our example, we'll leave both dates as today. Next, we need to enter the plant where the inventory count will occur in this case, we'll enter plant MI00. Additionally, the storage location field is mandatory as physical inventory is conducted at the storage location level. We'll enter TJ00 as our storage location. Moving to the other information section, we have the option to set a posting block by checking this box, no goods movements involving the materials listed in the physical inventory document can be posted during this count. This helps ensure accuracy and prevents discrepancies. After entering all necessary information, we press Enter and proceed to the document New Item screen. Here. We can enter the materials we want to include in the physical inventory. You can add multiple materials as needed. For our example, we'll focus on the material EPAD1000. For stock tab, click from the match code and select one for warehouse. Once we've entered the materials, we can click the Save button to create the physical inventory document. The system will provide a success message confirming that the document has been created and assigned a unique number. Now it's common practice to print out the physical inventory document and provide it to the individuals conducting the count. To do this, we'll click Print button. This takes us to transaction MI21, where we can print various documents related to physical inventory. In the print pop-up, We'll see our newly created documents auto already populated. We'll click the Execute button and choose Print Preview to review the document before printing. The header section displays the plant document number user ID, and the plant count date. Below, we can see the material, storage location, in our case, TJ00, and the status indicating that it has not been counted yet. Creating physical inventory documents is the initial step in the physical inventory process. It helps facilitates accurate and organized inventory counts, ensuring the integrity of in inventory data. That's all for today's video on the creating physical inventory documents. I hope you found it, inf I hope you found it informative and useful. If you want to learn more about SAP and other related topics, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for future updates and tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.